All right, back to First Word Weather. Chief Meteorologist Nick Berrianos is live in DOCO with your First Word forecast. Hi, Nick. Hi, Curtis. You know, it's been a nice afternoon, a bit on the cooler end, I have to say, and the wind's starting to pick up right now as people are starting to walk their way into the uh, G1 center, but at least we're dry, so we have that for now. But we are watching some actual weather that will be pushing th across the state going into the overnight hours. Let's start off right now with the wind speeds uh, taking place across the valley. You can see in Sacramento out of the south here at 14 miles per hour. Fairfield, more on the windy side at 25 miles per hour. Those are wind speeds, not wind gusts, so that is sustained, and it makes it feel on the cool end. The clouds have uh, returned back over Sacramento too. So we're into the mid 60s here in downtown 59 degrees in Elk Grove. But as we get closer toward the start of the game here coming up on seven o'clock, I expect temperatures downtown to be near 60 degrees with partly sunny skies and we will hold on to breezy weather all the way through this evening, even post game into tonight. By 11 o'clock, I have added the chance of a shower into the forecast for the valley, but they will be very few and far in between. So a lot of dry time into the valley overnight. Not everybody will see the showers. So let's talk about that storm because we have actual weather pushing through that will be impacting parts of our area into the overnight hours. First alert Doppler radar has been following some thunderstorms, in fact, across the far northern Sacramento Valley. In and around the city of Sacramento, we are clear, we are dry, uh, but we will begin to see snow increasing across the high country into the overnight hours. Here's how it plays out after 10, 11 o'clock. You can see a few showers around across the Sacramento and San Joaquin Valleys, but they're not widespread. So again, a lot of dry time into the evening and overnight, but into the overnight through tomorrow morning for the Sierra, that's where we are watching accumulating snow, and it will be heavy at times as we push our way into uh, the early morning time frame. So expect winter driving conditions for the higher elevations. That's where we do find a winter weather advisory in place for accumulating snow. So let's talk about amounts because uh, in the valley, again, with the few showers here and there, I'm looking at from either no rain to perhaps a trace, some spots uh, with some of the heavier showers, maybe a tenth of an inch, but that's about it. In the higher elevations, when it comes to the snowfall, you're looking at north of Highway 50. That's where you had the most snow that we are expecting tonight into the uh, day tomorrow. We're talking four to eight inches above 4,000 feet, but some spots such as Donner Summit may approach 10 inches of snowfall uh, with this storm system. That's why that winter weather advisory is in place. All right, here's your forecast for the week ahead. Uh, temperatures start to rise, and how about this? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, upper 70s, and a return to near 80 degrees and a fairly dry stretch as well. The coolest of the next several days is happening really from right now through tomorrow, but at least going into the game, the weather is nice and quiet. Curtis.